where they do that at? Apparently, it ain't in Chicago where R. Kelly is right now. <laughs> but apparently, but it's not. Bro. It's also it's also like terrible that people are trying to take advantage of a situation that if you sit back and really think about it he had no way of doing this in the first place no way what it do pmw crew is sticks and d-lo back with some additional and some extra content today the man uh known as r kelly apparently dropped an album from jail on Friday. How you do that? How you, where they do that at? Where they do that at, D-Lo? <laughs> where they do that at? He's currently serving a 30-year prison sentence uh, in mm-hmm. Chicago. And he was convicted in June, you know, for federal racketeering and sex trafficking charges and things of that nature. But Friday, an uh, album drops on Spotify and Apple Music called, what, 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 what the, what the it, it was, was called, called I, admit I Admit It. I Admit It. And it was supposed to be a 13-track album with the, and of course, everybody knows he had an 18-minute song dropped back in 2018, also called I Admit It, and was talking about a lot of different things. I went back and listened to the song, and it was, it was a bunch of jibber-jabber, but he was talking about a lot of stuff. But where they do that at, D-Lo? How the hell you in jail supposed to be spending a 30-year sentence and you still dropping music? That's kind of like... Uh, Tupac was still dropping albums, but he was supposed to be rest in peace, Tupac. But he was supposed to be dead, but he dropped a couple of albums after he passed away. But like, what the hell going on, D'Lo? Talk to me about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, in that situation, it was, it was different. You know, Tupac, it was, it was, it as was. every artist does, whether it's R and B, hip hop, country, whatever the case is, they they record multiple songs and mm-hmm. um, ultimately pick and choose different songs, including the albums that they actually release. For sure. In this aspect, it, it happens to be that we found out in, in two weeks in a row now, we're talking about um, something was either said or did, and then it actually didn't happen or whatever the case may yeah, be. Exactly. You know, exactly. outside parties had malice intent. So in this case, yeah, R. Kelly was, they, it said that he released a album on Friday called mm-hmm. I Admit It. Mm-hmm. And then it wasn't him. He was not involved in doing it. Um, so what happened was um, one of the labels that or distributors that he produces his albums was said to have released it um, on on whatever, however you release it. I didn't. So I didn't go into that. I, sh- I guess I should have. But well, they put good. it up on uh some site that then puts it to spotify and apple Mm -hmm. and then the world was announced you know the world was ablaze set ablaze when they found out that r kelly was set to release an album um we just live in a world now where it's a lot of not i won't say not well this is nonsense a lot of nonsense is going on uh to where everything is so easily believable um, just because of how easily we are, easily people are accessible and how much information we can mm-hmm. pick up, you know, just by picking up our phone and open up an app or going to the website and whatnot. So where they do that at, apparently it ain't in Chicago where R. Kelly is right now. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently but it's not. Bro. It's also it's also like terrible that people are trying to take advantage of a situation Mm -hmm. that if you sit back and really think about it he he had no way of doing this in the first place no way so again nonsensical we have to start using better logic when we think about this stuff because when i first heard i was like it's no way because if you take a regular prisoner he can't make outside money true and and r kelly who is a prisoner Uh he he might have a little bit more fame than your normal prisoner he's in the same boat he can't make outside money so yeah it's we got to be better at how we look at information for sure for sure and the way it was released um is that it was a so legacy recordings was it was in the copyright line legacy recordings is uh sony music's catalog division Mm-hmm. And they released it Friday. But of course, um, R. Kelly, his lawyer, 
and Sony themselves said they never pushed to have this music put through put out. Mm-hmm. And even before, and they also said, well, um, R. Kelly's lawyer also said was that he never had, he didn't even have an album ready to go prior to him even going into jail. So right. somebody, somebody took, cause it was a bunch of songs, according to his lawyer, it was a bunch of songs that spanned over the past 15 years that were already out, including the, I admit 18 minute video, or 18 minute song that somebody just put together and packaged as an album and released it through legacy recordings. And so it's gotta be somebody inside of Sony so that's what that's the first thing I thought was whenever I heard Legacy Recordings was a, was a subdivision of Sony Music with their catalog division. I was like, okay, so somebody within Sony had to have put this together and dropped it and posted right. it on the on the uh, online on, on Spotify and Apple Music. So somebody has got to be inside job trying to make some little some 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 money some kind of way. Yeah, but that's my question, and what I was going to ask is, how would they benefit from that if it's R. Kelly's name that's attached to? Well, I guess the the company would get gets their cut or their was mm-hmm. it percentage point. Mm-hmm. But okay, if if that's the case, then there must be a, a very hurt division of somebody be they- that is looking to get this this quick buck. From but the crazy thing was Kelly. though, the crazy thing was though, it it had what like over a million downloads on Friday before it was taken down. Well, well yeah, well because people want to know it's R. Kelly. Somebody he admits something. They want to hear what he talk about, right? Exactly. Of course, so did. if that was something real and it kept being downloaded after they took it off the website, depending on how, depending on what percentage that that division gets from those downloads and this individual person, whatever his bonus is or whatever his you know, whatever his salary is, including the bonus from these downloads, he could have made a pretty good penny going into the holiday season. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, listen, I don't know penal code uh, law when the right. person is locked up, but I think I have pretty good sense. A person cannot make any type of money while they're in jail. He like, personally can't. Other, yeah, but so if he right. can't and he's attached to the 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 album, how can somebody else make money off of it if he can't? So if he, so say for instance, and I, I'm not sure this is how this works. This is all speculation. But say for right. instance, he did have the the um the I, I admit it album set to go while before he was put put in prison, right? Yeah. If he in prison told his lawyer, yes, it's okay for Sony to release the album. He can't personally be paid, but Sony can be paid. Or his, yeah. or his or his record label can be paid, but right? how does that benefit him though? It doesn't benefit him so, at all. But maybe exactly. So but, but if, why would if, he let that go? I mean, I don't. I'm just saying. Like I said, hypothetically speaking, if he yeah. if he he's put in jail for 30 years now, right? And he yeah. has this album ready to go, and all this album has all the information in it that everybody needs to hear to say, okay, yeah, I did it, and this is my way of telling y'all I did it. If he yeah. was to actually release an album like that, he wouldn't personally get paid for it. Of course, he in jail for 30 years, but his record label, his lawyer, Sony Music, um, Legacy Recordings, all of them could get paid for that. He wouldn't personally do it, and he wouldn't personally get paid, but he could, I guess, make right with himself and his conscience in the world to say, hey, I did this. But that's I not what we, happened, of course. That's just all speculation. Right, right. But it's all speculation for sure. Get paid, and opposed to him getting paid, because he can't get outside money, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're just trying to navigate through how yeah. this actually would work if it did actually happen, because we I don't know for sure. And now that we're talking about this, I'm trying to think of other times where somebody else, a rapper or whatever. I mean, that's normally the case. Um, sadly, sadly um, a know, rapper right? has been in jail, and like like Lil Wayne, he he wasn't making money. He wasn't. He wasn't when he was, or release right, so I I don't think this is possible. Even if because we all know they had records that they could have released while they were in jail, mm-hmm. um, and I I don't I don't think you can like I don't even think anybody attached to that those projects can make money um, off of that. So to me, it's a lose lose other than keeping them hot. But R Kelly, yeah. listen, we all we all know or think we know what happened in this R. Kelly case and what he did with a bunch of these I, yeah, I don't you know I don't want to yeah, get into yeah. that. Yeah but so you know trying to keep him hot yeah I don't I don't see any any benefit in that all in any case. 
I don't see any benefit in it either. I mean, and but but you know, of, of course, long story short, it's all speculation. But it's, that is not what happened. It right, was a big right. album. It was something that was taken down immediately within four hours of it actually being dropped. So mm-hmm. it's like, well, six hours of it actually being dropped. So mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's one of those things where <laughs> somebody just somebody was trolling the internet and they won. They trolled successfully. Two and weeks in a row, bro. Two weeks in a row, you know, the internet gets trolled. And I mean, you know, with the the, the J-Lo thing from last week and now with the R. Kelly thing now, it's like, I mean. When and we honestly could have talked about another thing with Steph Curry, but we, we decided not too. to. We decided not to with, Steph, with the whole thing with Steph Curry, too, and how the media wants us to believe everything that they put out. And they're using the big megastars to actually make it seem true. So mm-hmm. it's like, bro. I mean, we just got to be a lot more mindful of the things that we see on 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 the internet and question it for yourself and do research before we actually believe it to be Bible, as people would say mm-hmm. these days. Because a lot of the things that we see on the internet is false. You can't believe much of anything you see on the internet, especially mm-hmm. social media, because that's where people lie the absolute most. The so. Absolute, yep. Keep keep that shit in keep that shit in mind as y'all going forward, man. If y'all if y'all watching this video, hopefully you are like subscribe and you know put the notification bell on to get more content. But bruh, this this right here, bruh, <laughs> was hilarious. I saw I actually saw a, a video on Instagram where um, R. Kelly's lawyer was talking to R. Kelly in jail, saying, oh, mm-hmm. I, "I do this what the hell, yeah. like, like yeah. but who put my music out? I ain't even there to do that. What the hell?" But, so he was saying that. Um, whoever did release it is trying to impede his appeal to get out of jail. And so they are. That makes a lot of sense. And so they are trying to use the music um, as a way, especially the way that it was titled, I admit it, Mm -hmm. as a way to, um, you know, overshadow that he is, in fact, not concerned with music right now, but more concerned with trying to get out Mm-hmm. of prison and um you know be exonerated for the charges that he was he was doing for sure for or sure. that he was charged for i should say but it's crazy because i mean if that's i mean it, and it was it was most back in 2018 it was probably a publicity stunt they bring a little bit of uh attention to the song itself but mm-hmm. you put a song out yourself an 18 minute song that says i admit it mm-hmm. so somebody putting it out now with that same title I mean, it's it's kind of you know that that's kind of common sense, honestly. But you're right. I think I think I think, and I think he is right. He's somebody is trying to keep him in prison. He's trying to mm-hmm. appeal it. You know what I'm saying? And somebody is saying, Ah, my nigga, you did all these things that you that that we think you did, and that everybody is accusing you for. So you need to stay in there. So we're gonna try this music to show the people mm-hmm. that you actually did this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, that that makes a lot of sense. R. Kelly is making a lot of sense when he says that, though, for sure, for sure. Yeah, my my final thoughts and the wisdom I'll spread on this is we live in a world where chat GBT is about to be king. And if you don't know what chat GBT is, go look it up. You'll be amazed. Mm -hmm. We need to question everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we need to question the validity of everything. Mm -hmm. Um, Even if you yourself has said it, you probably need to question that Mm -hmm. Um, because we're entering an age where computer generated computer AI, computer, everything is starting to take over. And what we see with our eyes aren't real. For sure, man, for sure. And just to get my final wisdom as well, we are, and it's just kind of, you know, back in what D-Lo just said, always be inquisitive, bro. Always ask questions because you can't believe everything you, you can't believe everything you hear for sure and only half of what you see. I know y'all have heard that adage before. Believe mm-hmm. none of what you hear, half of what you see, because there's always a story behind everything that you that you come in, 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 that you encounter. So, always take that take everything with a grain of salt most times, um, so that way you can do your own research and ask your own questions to try to figure out what's really what's the really real and what's the truth, and kind of go from there. Because the internet has and will lie to you, so always and it's undefeated. And it's undefeated. So always going to everything with an open mind and have, be, have, an inquis- have inquisitive thoughts so that way you can form your own opinion and go from there, for sure. 